fun. I'm sitting here on the red sofa of love here at Brooks Bar uh, for Waffle TV. I'm Eleanor Conway. Waffle TV is great. Loads of interviews with brilliant fringe acts. And sitting on this lovely red, jaded red sofa is the beautiful Mark Nelson. How are you? How are you doing? I'm all right. You look really nice. You look really smart. What's Thank going on? Thank you much. Uh, I've decided to wear a suit this year at the Fringe. Uh, to try and because my show's kind of grown up uh -huh. I've tried to look a lot more grown up wearing a suit but I've just realised that I don't I kind of just look like I've been in a stag day for five <laughs> days so uh, and also because I'm not really I don't really know much about fashion and yeah. stuff like that so this is easy I just buy a suit and three shirts and then that's me that's all I need to worry about for the rest of the time so. that's wicked that's, no that is super easy it's, bit, it's very sort of like um, what's the dude from Apple Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Didn't he always used to wear like a black polo neck and jeans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like the Steve Jobs of the fringe. I'm, I'm a Steve Jobs. Of, well, I hope not, because that will mean I'll be dead by the end of it, but that won't be good. Uh, so, uh, no, but uh, yeah, that, that, I suppose that's, that's quite an inappropriate joke to make, but, you know, there you go. Yeah, that's good. It's fine. <laughs> um, where, where, which, uh, which venue is your, um, what's the title and the venue of your show? My show is called Under the Radar. Uh, it is on at the Underbelly at 27 every night. Okay. It's good. I, I'm just reading your PR. Uh, his comedy is dark and his audiences often find themselves laughing at things they shouldn't be laughing at, such as... Uh, that Steve Jobs joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... Uh, yeah, I've always kind of been labelled this kind of dark comedian, uh, which I'd, I've never really understood, because there's a hell of a lot more comedians darker than me. I think I, think I kind of... I don't realise how dark and offensive I'm being because I don't think it's offensive and then people come out and I think that the, the nicest quote I've ever got and the only kind of quote I've actually enjoyed reading was it said something like uh, I've never seen anyone manage to be so simultaneously offensive and likeable at the same time so I was like I quite like that yeah quite happy being offensive and likeable do you not think that do you think that's something to do with being Scottish because like Frankie Frankie Boas is very much that kind of offensive dry yeah. but we quite like him yeah I think I think Scottish people unless you Price you don't like him yeah <laughs> Uh, I think I think definitely Scottish people even Scottish people talking about nice things can sound offensive and dark like I mean if, if Russell Howard was Scottish I think he'd still sound like Frankie Boyle because it's just the accent kind of gives over an aggressiveness yeah. to, or you could be talking about puppies and be the nicest comedian in the world if you did it in a hard Glaswegian accent it would sound like the grimmest possible set ever so. I really like puppies yeah. that's a terrible yeah. accent yeah yeah that's, that's a, that was Russian to be honest <laughs> So, um, like, you're 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 a married man. You're a family. I'm guessing you're a family man. Not yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Working on it. Okay. Right. Well, not, good. Not like you know, but uh, that wasn't. No, I, I was going to ask. I was going to say you need to get up I, your game. Can I borrow the couch after you're done? So, uh, <laughs> you, know, you can all stay. <laughs> um, so, what was it? Uh, yeah. So, how are you playing your Edinburgh? Are you going out socialising, or are you kind of not drinking and kind of? What are you doing? I'm doing. I'm just taking it step by step. I'm not really. I don't really. I'll go out, I, I, if I've got late night gigs, you find yourself, because my show finishes at 20 to 8, yeah. and some gigs don't, I mean the other one, the other night I didn't start till half one, so you kind of, there's not much you can do in between other than go to bars, so, uh, but I'm trying to keep it kind on the level, yeah. uh, not through any kind of health or keeping myself, it's just money, I just have no money, so I can't afford to drink, but uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm socialising as, as, as much as I can, and I, I'm not. I'm not as like my first year because I'm, I'm over thirty now, so I can't run about like the young kids and like they're up till like six in the morning. I think on Saturday night I was up till about four, and then I had to get up the next day, and I just felt terrible. And I was just like that. I was like hangovers just kill me now. So uh, scary. I don't like it. I used to be able to drink all weekend, and now I can barely drink all night. It's terrible. Bless you. Um, I, I keep seeing haggis in the fish and chip shops. Mm -hmm. I've not tried it. Would you recommend You've that I try it? You've never tried haggis? No, never. I wouldn't try it in a fish and chip shop. Probably not the best cuisine. No, it's not the best starter into your haggis career. Uh, but it does most, I think if you go in at most, even just pubs around about what here. What is it? I'm, I'm so uneducated. Do you really want to know? Because that might... Yeah, 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 go on, trying. go on, boom. It's essentially just, it's like awful and... What's awful? It's the inside bits, isn't it? Yeah, and it's wrapped in an intestinal coating. So it's but it's, it's really nice. So like, you know have you, you've had black pudding. Yeah, I quite you know, like black pudding. It's not that far removed from black pudding. It's basically black pudding but with oats in it. Uh, then you know you get like the haggis is like a round thing. Is that one yeah. serving or is that like to share? No, that's they, they normally they come in about well about that size and then they'll slice it up and it depends how many. So you can have that whole thing if you want, but it's a lot. <laughs> I 
like the way this interview has just gone totally into it's non-comedic. Like chef now, it's like <laughs> Come dine with me. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, so uh, how have you found the late night? Because I'm doing a, a late night show uh, called Eleanor Conway's Midnight Rumble at the Wee Coo, Underbelly, Bristow Square. Boom, five to five to midnight. Um, and I found them to be quite raucous, really up for it. How have you found the, the midnight crowds or the, the late night crowds that come to the earlier in the day crowds? I much prefer late night crowds. Uh, they're just far. It's not nothing to take away from any earlier day crowds, but I think it just people. Like if I went to see something at half three in the afternoon, I would react entirely different to it as if I did at midnight because it's just there's more people. There'll be more drunk people. There'll be more noise. People will be more up for it because it's more like a night out rather than <laughs> going to like a kind of an afternoon show. People will. You, you find that because my show is kind of earlier on at night, uh, you find that people will be sitting there and they'll be enjoying it and they'll laugh but you don't get that uproarious kind of falling about laughter because no, I just... It. It's such like fake praise, yeah, I love yeah. it, fake praise. I think it's a British thing, I think if, we, I think if the Fringe was in America, even just a matter, it could be nine o'clock in the morning, people would be whooping in Holland, but in Britain people are more, well, it's the middle of the afternoon, you know, we're going to keep quite serene, we're going to, yeah, you know... Yeah. But at night, I love I love late night gigs. Some some people some people can't handle it though. Some people don't like the kind of raucous. They're a bit scared of it. Yeah, I think it's no, I, I far more enjoyment. Tests you a lot more. If you can keep their attention, then you can keep anyone's attention. It is. It's like a, it's like a school of school of kids. Well, let's. Uh, there's lovely speech to you. Do you yeah, want to just do, do. A, we just do a quick plug again? Uh, my show is uh, every day at 18:40 at the Underbelly. It's called Mark Nelson Under the Radar. And I'm Eleanor Conway's Midnight Rumble. Five to midnight, we coo Bristow Square be there. Uh, you can find Waffle TV. Come join us online. It's on, we're on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all that business. But for now... So we, uh, we interviewed Alan Hudson, magician, earlier on today, and he asked you... What is the best magic trick you've ever seen? I, that's, that's quite a good question, actually. Um, I... Uh, Cause I, I really love magic. Um, I would say I quite like simplistic magic that looks like I could probably learn how to do it. So even so you see, some I learned how to do the the balls and the cups. I think that's probably my favourite magic <laughs> trick because it's it's when you see it, it's so fascinating as to how that can happen. But then when you actually learn how to do it, you kind of go, that's actually makes sense and it's quite simple so yeah I prefer simple mo- so, uh, anything a guy can do just in, to, to people in a, in a pub that's my favourite kind of magic and what can you ask a question to the next guest what, what, what is Mark Nelson going to ask probe the mind of the next guest I would say um, who is your next guest do you know oh, I can't tailor it then <laughs> I would say a surprise. to the next guest uh, what have they most enjoyed about Scottish people meeting them so far and why? Okay, that's a really good question. Okay, can you do one more one more plug for your show? Yeah. Where is it? My show is uh, every day at 6.40 at the Underbelly. It's called Mark Nelson Under the Radar. Brilliant, and I'm Eleanor Conway's Midnight Rumble, 5 to Midnight, Wiku, Bristow Square, be there, be square. You can find us on uh, Waffle TV, you can find Waffle TV on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all that gubbins. But for now, here's Eleanor Conway, Mark Nelson, say goodbye. Thank you.